the Justice Tour was born out of a residency that I was doing at a club called the Hotel Cafe um, in Hollywood. And the idea, it, it, grew, it grew out of that, of my desire to just play with, play music with friends. kid that inspired me to sing. I would, uh, I used to, uh, on Thanksgivings, I was the MC of uh, the talent show at the Covenant House in, in Hollywood, which does homeless, which homeless teens thing. And, uh, and one year, about five, six years ago, this, you know, there's some of the, the talent show is pretty amazing. There's some, some very talented and some amusingly talented young men and women. Uh, this one kid went up there and he was about 19 years old and he and I had been talking earlier and he had a hard story, a really hard story. And he got up there and he sang two songs and he, he didn't have the greatest voice, but he meant it uh, more than anyone I've ever seen on a stage mean it. And I just thought, you know what? Like, and I've played in rock bands that were playing in enormous arenas at the time. And I thought, I, but I've got some ideas in my head and I know a few chords and what I'm doing doesn't touch that moment. You know, and it made me think I could maybe sing my songs too. And that was sort of the, when I started doing the Night Watchman stuff. Sure, I would love, I would love to um, have people in the audience take note of what these uh, men and women on the Justice Tour have done. They've not done anything that special. They've taken who they are, they've taken their gift and their talent, and they've used it as leverage to make change in the community. Uh, and Justice Tour 09 is back. We're going to rock some shows with some good friends, some great rockers, and some fantastic causes. Happy to bring it to you. And each one of us can take who we are and what our giftedness is, and we can use it as leverage for change in our community, or we can be selfish with it and hoard it towards ourselves. We get to make the choice.